talking about the place where everyone wants to live. Plano, Frisco, Allen, and McKinney. This is Collin County Life with Brent and Angie. Hi, Lindsay. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Sure. Um, so, tell us what brought you to Collin County. Well, I grew up in Grayson County, so I wasn't far. Um, I went to college in uh, Oklahoma. My now husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, moved to Louisville um, for a job opportunity, and I kind of followed along um, after a while, and we knew we wanted to start a family and not raise her in, or a family in Louisville, mm-hmm. so we started looking around Collin County and settled for McKinney. We, we liked the quaintness of it. It's not as quaint anymore, but no, still wonderful, right. and it was still very centrally located to um, his work and our family, because they still remained in Grayson County and in Durant. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so how long have you been in McKinney? Oh, gosh. Nine years. Okay. Yeah. So long enough to remember when it was a little small. Yes. Actually, I mean, I growth. remember driving when I was a little girl through McKinney and, and even Frisco and like mm. there was cows and a gas station. Right. Yeah. And now, you know, there's yeah. everything. So we have you here today because we were going to talk about the Buy Nothing Project. Yeah. The Buy Nothing Project. Yeah. So can you tell us what the Buy Nothing Project is? It started off very small. Um, it's actually global now. Um, oh, wow. It is all about a hyper local gift economy. So uh, they're all about giving and receiving. There's no ask, um, you know, too big. There's no give too big. It's all about kind of waste, not whatnot, you know? Mm-hmm. It's, mm-hmm. it's helping our, I mean, I'm not saying that we're not helping the economy. It kind of keeps people humble a little bit and allows them to give things that may have memories and, and they want to share that to somebody right. else instead of just throwing it in the dump. We're helping each other, our neighbors. And um, I, that's kind of how they originated. I believe it was in Seattle. Oh, wow. I could be wrong, but I, I think I, re- I remember reading um, it starting in Seattle and okay. then they just boomed over the last you know decade. And I kind of just accidentally fell into the position of an admin um, I joined the group years ago. Uh, it was McKinney Southwest at the time, okay. and it was pretty much a big, is a big a chunk of McKinney. And we just recently sprouted because our group grew to twenty five hundred members. Right. Um, yeah. So we sprouted, and it's bittersweet. Wow, twenty five hundred. That's uh, a, it's lot. a lot. That it's is a lot. lot. Uh huh. Okay. So we're the goal is to really get a group everywhere. Um, yeah. And then they, they get smaller because it's all about creating an environment with your neighbors too, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. uh, people that you never thought you'd have a relationship with. You, you grow some pretty meaningful friendships. Um, I had a lot of people that I had to say goodbye to last week right? Um, as the admin and I spread of my group uh-huh. and I had to say goodbye to, I'm only at 500, a little under 500 right now. So I said goodbye to a lot of people That's, and, yeah. um, but it's, it's beautiful because we get to see other groups thrive and and we're working on an East group right now. I love seeing these groups come about. Um, Mm -hmm. Alan didn't have any and they they ended up with three. Oh, Uh, wow. I I helped launch one in Frisco, the Prosper Salina one. Uh, Melissa has one and I am gunning for McKinney to be completely covered so that nobody McKinney doesn't get to participate. Right. You know, so the East group is soon. Uh Um, We're still working on finding some admins for that North group because above 380 needs a group. Um, Okay. So if you know anybody uh, Uh that would like to admin, Hmm. let me know. Sure about that. (laughs) (laughs) If someone wants to join, Mm -hmm. can you tell us how they would find the correct group? Absolutely. That's that's hard. So um, some people go to the website, which is buynothingproject.org. And they can click find a group and it gives the map of every group globally. Um, And it tells you the ones that have been archived because maybe they lost an admin and nobody stepped up to the plate. Uh, Ones that are in development, the ones that are currently existing. And it should have a map that has the boundaries, um, the borders for that group. Um, For us, uh, like my group is By Nothing Project Southwest. Mm -hmm. Um, We just launched By Nothing Project El Dorado. That was a sprouted group from my large group. And then by nothing project or uh, central because I'm in central. central. Yes, central. <laughs> yes. And uh, they've got new boundary lines. So what mine used to be was you had to live in boundaries um, south of 380, east of 
No, west, I'm sorry. <laughs> Directionally challenged. <laughs> west of 75, mm-hmm. north of 121, and east of Custer. So I was a very large yeah, area. It, yeah. Um, so once we hit those numbers, and we then other things go into consideration, not just numbers of people, but you know, we have to really be all inclusive and we go off of demographics, you know, financially and everything. We want to make sure okay. that everybody's included and there's a good mix. Um, so we did do a lot of research. It took me eight months wow. to, to sprout my group. Wow. Um, I've been doing it, developing it for eight okay. months with the uh, development team. Okay. Wow. And then raising up new admins, which I think everybody's in good hands. Mm-hmm. Um, so you do have to be within the boundaries of that group, which you can find at the website. Okay. Um, of course, if you find the local groups just by going on Facebook and doing a group mm-hmm. search, like Buy Nothing um, Frisco or Buy Nothing McKinney or Buy Nothing Allen, um, different groups will pop up and you can just click on it and it will say in their description what boundaries are theirs. Okay. Um, so once you request the correct group, mm-hmm. which we're hoping everybody's honest, but it's not always that way. Right, right. Um, then you answer three questions. One being, what are your major cross streets? Cause we're not asking for addresses. Mm-hmm. Um, two would be, are you in another part, another buy nothing group? Because you're only allowed to participate in one, right? which is the one that you reside in the boundaries of. And then the other one is, are you over 21? I review those and any other admin would review those for their group. And then they can approve it. We send a welcome message that tells them what we're about and what's expected of them because that garage sale mentality is really hard to break. Mm, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of how that goes. That's that's the joining process. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, I mean, it's I've done the joining yeah. process twice now. <laughs> twice. So I, um, it was it was pretty simple. I know my mm-hmm. address. I know how old I am. So. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I, I was well. It took me a minute to look at the map and figure out where I was sprouted to, mm-hmm. but only because I was on a line. Mm-hmm. And so that's what threw me off. But yeah, so it is, pre- it's pretty simple. Yeah. Tell us, especially over this past year, what, what are some great stories that have come, some great sharing stories that have come from the Buy Nothing Project? Oh, for the past year. Well, COVID was major, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah. It, is, it is major. Um, well, <laughs> we kind of didn't know what to expect when COVID hit. Mm-hmm. Um, the count, we follow county guidelines. We follow our mayor, whatever he mandates. We need to follow our state. Um, so at first we kind of put everything on a pause and it stunk. Yeah. Um, people love the, the group with the connections and not just the, oh, I get free stuff. I mean, they do exist, but it becomes really a family. And it really is, the drama is not there, which is so nice and refreshing for people. Once the Buy Nothing Project gave us the okay and our mayor and our governor told us what we could do, uh, we opened it back up. We said, "All right, guys, we're back up running. It wasn't shut down for long." No, I don't. I, as a matter, I don't remember it being shut <laughs> See, down at most all. People don't. It was so quick. <laughs> it was very quick, and maybe a couple weeks. I don't even know the exact timeline there. But we opened back up, but we weren't able to do our um, like a trunk uh, giving where people just put all their stuff in a trunk and meet in a parking lot, and then we all just kind of walk around and do free gifting and meet and greets. And that's um, a thing. Yeah, we haven't been able to do okay. them just because right now it's a, it's kind of like participate at your own risk. Okay, you know, right. COVID is still th- a thing, mm-hmm. and people aren't vaccinated, and some people are, and some people are getting sick, some people aren't. So it's just kind of like use your best judgment. But my best judgment is to tell people at first it was we can't do this because no more than like ten or fifteen people are allowed to meet in the group, stay six feet apart, mm-hmm. all those things. So mm-hmm. we had to take that into consideration and and really make sure that everybody was okay and everybody was safe. And then when we opened it back up, we also do pancakes in the park. Um, I he, did, I did. He is no that. longer in my group anymore, but we called him banana man. Yes, affectionately. Yes. Um, he was amazing. And he threw our first pancakes in the park and it was for everybody to kind of meet. It really wasn't a bring things to give. It was who wants to do coffee, who wants to. Okay. And so he would ask who's got cups. And somebody would volunteer cups and okay. who's got a coffee pot and someone would offer the carafe. And um, I unfortunately missed that one, but uh, he was planning on doing another one right when COVID hit. Oh, and so I okay. had to put a, a stop on yeah. it. But it was beautiful to see us open back up and everybody really pull through. The messages I was getting privately, the messages that were put on the wall for everybody, because it's also a gratitude. It's not mm-hmm. just get rid of your stuff and get free stuff. Right, right. right. Um, it was also 
you know, building relationships, but mm -hmm. also gratitude. You yeah. can ask for gifts of service. You can ask for um, advice, like gifts of advice, not recommendations. We are not a recommendations page. Yes. Um, <laughs> McKinney actually has a McKinney recommends page. Um, so we do refer, you know, go there and ask for your recommendations. Mm -hmm. This isn't the platform. Um, so I would get things like, hey, I was just having a really bad year. My, You know, I lost someone. Um, I saw wonderful things gifted, things with... People were really putting thought. I mean, last year, obviously, everybody was at home and doing home projects right. and cleaning and, <laughs> Clean, purging. and purging. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it was nice to see everybody. Um, we had a huge uptick in numbers last year. We had a huge uptick in things that were giving yeah. and not just taking. Um, and everybody was kind of participating. I mean, 2,500 members, that's a lot that's, of things. That is a lot. Yeah. Um, I would challenge people. I think the whole month of November, I challenged everybody uh, to right. give I a day. You're right. I remember that, yes. Um, uh -huh. and, or give a month, and then uh -huh. people just take it upon themselves. Well, I'm going to do a give a day. I'm like, let's do it. I did it. It was nice and cathartic. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, that Marie Kondo came out, so everybody was saying, does it spark joy? You know, <laughs> right. Is this making you happy? <laughs> no, get rid of it. So it was nice that people were putting stories with it. You know, hey, my mother-in-law gave me this. She passed two years ago. I'd like for somebody to appreciate it instead of just throw it away. Right. And you'd be yeah. surprised, you know, things that they wouldn't think normal people, you know, anybody would like. I gave away a plant that came in a basket when my mother passed away. Yeah. But I specifically said I wanted somebody to Take to your, love it. Yeah, love and, it. And, yes. And, you know, several people reached out and said that they would Someone they would else's treasure. It. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's what we're so, all about. It's great. Yeah. Those, it, are my, those are my favorite things. When we shut down for a couple of weeks, I was like, oh, no. Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> but well, I know that I, I saw a lot of things where, like, people were, like, single moms yeah. and just people. We've so got everybody from all walks of yeah. life in our group. Just being totally blessed with. Yeah. So many things, you know, to help people. Yeah. So many people were furloughed and then not able to come back. I was one of those. I was furloughed and then told six months later, hey, we can't have you back. We can't afford it. Oh, wow. And the group helped tremendously, especially around the holidays, birthdays yeah. and Christmases. And, yeah. I mean, and, there was even, I even saw food, groceries, oh, all kinds of things food, like that. Food, absolutely. I mean, I, I don't think we had... Anybody really take advantage of the situation mm -hmm. in, in the year we had last year? I mean, sure, there's probably a few maybe that slipped through, but it was nice to see everybody's giving spirit in such a weird time. Right. And still remains. I mean, it's getting better, I feel like. But it's 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 nice to see that people weren't letting it completely tear them down. You know, mm -hmm. moms that couldn't afford birthday presents for their kids or right. dads that couldn't afford Christmas for their for their kids or their wife or, mm -hmm. you know, and they're like, hey, my, my wife's looking for this. And I, and somebody steps up and is like, I've got one, uh, right. brand new moms that, you know, need baby items mm -hmm. and people that wanted to donate to the dog shelter. And, and we allow it as long as they volunteer to pick it up and they don't need to mention where they're taking it because then that kind of becomes a promotion. Sure, <laughs> but, sure. you know, we yeah. were, it was nice to see like somebody saying, hey, I want to take 30 blankets to this shelter for our dogs and who can help. And then all of a sudden they ended up with 55 blankets. Right. So wow. it's it's crazy. It's not just personal for yeah. people. Sometimes they just want to bless other people. Yeah. Yeah. I, lots of it. I did, do recall seeing gifts of service. Lots oh, of yeah. gifts of service. I had yeah. a neighbor, um, elderly. She went on there and asked if anybody could, a, a storm, a windstorm had knocked down a tree onto our fence. And she's like, I don't have a saw. Does anybody have a saw? The woman didn't just send the saw. She sent her husband to saw it down. Oh, wow. So, wow. Um, yeah. yeah, as long as no money is exchanged, um, it's it's a gift of self, a gift of service, a yeah. gift of advice. And, yeah. and I see a lot of that. I think those are probably the more meaningful ones for me to see. Right. right. Um, and you really do. You kind of, even though you've not necessarily met face to face, you, you really kind of get to know yeah. people. So it, it oh, really yeah. is a, very much a community feeling. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why it was so hard to sprout. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you had to say goodbye. It's bittersweet. It's right. Like, I, I love you. Right. I don't want to see you go, but you yeah. have to go. <laughs> right. You branch out. And it's great. And yeah. you're going to get even closer and have more bonds and more stories because it's small. It's a smaller community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I've, I've mentioned to several friends, you know, you need to join the Buy Nothing Project. And they're like, what? So... Yeah, it's a, so, it's like a hidden little gym. Yes, absolutely it is. Yeah. But yeah. we want everybody to know about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I yes, think everybody yeah. deserves to participate. If they're in boundaries and you have a group, join it. And if not, start one. It's right. not really too much. I mean, I am a full-time mom. I'm on the PTA board at my daughter's school. I am creating her yearbook for her entire school. Wow. I have a full-time job. I run a business. I'm a wife. 
I vacation. You're busy. I am busy <laughs> and I still make time to do it because it's yeah. not that time consuming. Right. Once you've got your group kind of, you know, in the flow, they really kind of monitor themselves. Can you tell us one more time where they to, need to go if to they want it. to find a group? If you want to find a group, you mm -hmm. go to buynothingproject.org and you okay. click menu and you click find a group. Okay. And then it just kind of self-explanatory from there. If you want to start a group, kind of the same thing. Buynothingproject.org. You click menu and you click start a group. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Or just look for us on Facebook. <laughs> well, that too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, great. Thanks, Lindsay. Yeah. Thank you. I love sharing it. So yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. It's a, it's a cool thing. Yeah. Thank so. you. Sure. Sure.